guys, it's Emma, and in today's... No. Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be multitasking. By multitasking, I mean folding my laundry, drinking some coffee, and answering Q&A questions that you guys DM'd me on Instagram. You know what? I had a lot of laundry that I needed to fold, and I also had a lot of questions that I needed to answer, and I thought, well, why not kill two birds with one stone and just do it at the same time? Okay, so let's just jump right in... No. I'm not going to say that. If you DM'd me a question, thank you so much. I appreciate every single question that I received. If I didn't get to it today, I still love you and I hope you still love me. It is not personal. Okay! Okay! First question. If you could be in one TV show, what would it be and why? I would probably say The Office because I love The Office and it is definitely my favorite show. I wouldn't want to like replace one of the already existing characters because the characters in The Office are all so good. Literally every single character is just flawless in all ways. I would want to just like be a new character in it, you know? I would want to be just like an intern or something and I would want to be Kevin's girlfriend because Kevin is just a big hunk of love and he deserves a loving relationship on the show because there's so many other relationships, all these couples, but Kevin never has any love. So I'd love to be Kevin's girlfriend. Moving on. What is the average size of your poop or how many times do you poop a day? Moving on. Next question. What do you want to do when YouTube dies? When YouTube dies, I want to die. If somehow you got into a fight, what kind of ninja moves would you use to take down your opponent? be a younger age, what would it be? I would like to go back and be a newborn baby because honestly, I don't have any, like I don't remember what it's like to be a newborn baby. And I feel like that's just so awesome. You don't even know what's going on. You don't even care. You give zero fucks. All you care about is just like finding your mom's nipple. What a simple life, you know what I mean? Like being a teenager, there's so many more things to be stressed out about, but like being a newborn baby, God, like that was the life. If you could swim in a pool of coffee, would you? Then would you drink it? When I get older and, you know, have my own home and I have a family and stuff like that, and if I'm fortunate enough to have a pool at my house, I would only fill it with coffee. Chlorinated water? That's so 2017. Then the next question was, would you drink it? In my world, no coffee goes to waste. Therefore, of course, is that gross? No. If someone offered you to eat a chicken nugget for $1 million, would you eat it even though you're a vegetarian slash vegan? Vegetarian, vegan, I don't give a f if somebody was about to give me one million dollars to eat one chicken nugget, I f***ing swallow that shit whole! What's the most coffee you've had in a day? Honestly, this question is hard for me to answer because honestly, every day is just a whole new journey with me and coffee, you know? But I would say the most I've ever had in one day would probably be five coffees. Yes, the amount of caffeine that I consumed that day probably caused me to have at least 10 panic attacks. Literally, if I drink two coffees, I'll kind of start to get a little bit jittery and freaked out. But like five, that wouldn't end well for me. What's the most awkward thing that happens to you at school? I don't know about your guys' school, but at my school, they let us use our computers for like schoolwork and stuff like that during class. You know, they like to be really technology savvy, as if, but whatever. Technically, we're allowed to be on our computers during class as long as we're working on the assignments that we're supposed to be working on. But for me, sometimes, I'm just really not feeling it, you know? The teacher's talking about the square root of 69, and I'm like, you know what, teacher? I'm done. I'm done. I'm over it. I don't care anymore. For already been here for five and a half hours and I still have to be here for another two and a half and the last thing that I want to do is listen to you talk about the square root of 69 that's just not I don't care then I'll go on my computer and you know what I'll go on Pinterest I'll go on Instagram I'll go on Twitter sometimes I get a little bit carried away I forget that I'm at school I'm so consumed by what's on my computer that I kind of forget that you know the teachers lecturing and the next thing I know the teacher notices that I'm not paying attention and the teacher comes over to me and is like Emma what are you doing and I'm like like uh, ignoring you what are you doing and then they're like oh I'm trying to teach the class and you're being a little bit distracting because everybody can tell that you're not paying attention to what I'm saying and then I respond okay it's not my fault that no one gives a about what you're talking about. I'm sorry that I don't care. I'm really sorry. Like, I'm, you know what? Like, next time, make your lectures more interesting and maybe we can talk. But, like, if the teacher gets mad at me, kind of yells at me in front of the whole class for goofing off on my computer, and then I'm like, oh, shit, 
you know? Sorry, I'm trying to act like this doesn't happen to me every day, and then, you know, that's definitely one of the more awkward things that happens to me at school. But I don't really get embarrassed easily because my entire life is an embarrassment, so moving on. Can we be friends like we're the same person? I'm pretty sure it's Destiny. Yes. If you were to get a face tattoo, what would it be of? Personally, I don't really like tattoos. They're just not for me. Um, you know, as Kim Kardashian would say, don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. So I would never get a face tattoo. But instead, I would just get a tramp stamp because I feel like tramp stamps are more classy and versatile. I don't know. That's just what I would do. Next, would you rather never drink coffee again or only be allowed to watch the Minions movie and nothing else for the rest of your life? Both of those options are so absolutely horrible to me that I would rather die than have to choose because the Minions movie is f***ing annoying and not being able to drink coffee ever again would be absolutely tragic. Therefore, I don't want to choose. I would rather die. Would you rather give up coffee or YouTube? I would say, out of everything in this entire universe, the only thing that I would give up coffee for is YouTube. Aww. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna lie. You guys are pretty awesome, and I wouldn't want to lose this connection that we had just for a drink. If you were to be an animal, what would you be? If I was gonna be an animal, I'd want to either be a chimpanzee slash ape because they're like the closest to humans, so they're still kind of smart. And also, I heard monkeys throw their own sh at people as like self-defense and that sounds honestly really dope to me and I would love to try that out so probably a monkey or an ape or I would want to be like a goldfish because goldfish don't really have brains like they do but it like doesn't really work so well they're not very smart you know they're not the most intelligent creatures in the world like talk about giving no fucks like a goldfish gives no fucks and I would love to experience that feeling and if you die or something or like you know you go to a new home like somebody adopts you from the pet store you don't care you're just chilling the second part of this question why does cheese smell so bad um honestly I have no clue I bet there's like a reason for it actually let me google it why does cheese smell so bad bacteria that makes up the starter culture helps determine a cheese's taste texture and smell for example some bacteria I don't care what do people at your school think about your YouTube channel? P.S. I freaking love your channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you, girl. You're awesome. Honestly, I started this channel during the summer and therefore I haven't been at school for people to like tell me what they think about my channel. But if you go to my school and you watch my channel, comment down below what you think of it because I don't know. What is your favorite thing about the Bay Area? Um, I'd say my favorite thing about the Bay Area would have to be... Probably the fact that I live so close to San Francisco or the fact that I live really close to the ocean even though the ocean is really cold but it's still fun you know because you can just hang out at the beach and like not swim or if you want to swim you can swim but you can only be in for like five minutes but still fun though still fun. Would you rather drink a spoonful of vinegar or a spoonful of mustard? Whichever you choose do it on camera. BRB. So I'd have to say that I like mustard probably more than vinegar. I'm also doing this on my bed which is just a bad idea because if this spills anywhere it'll stain and that's just not fun. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> I wouldn't say that that was painfully unpleasant, but that really wasn't fun. But if I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now, when I was little, I used to be obsessed with mustard, like no joke, obsessed with it, to a point where like I would eat it on its own. I would literally go into my fridge at night. This is when I was like six, by the way. I'd go to my fridge and I'd take the mustard out and I'd just squirt it onto my finger and eat it for like hours. If you had a boat, what would you name it? I've honestly never thought about naming a boat, but maybe I'd call it Emma's Pimpin' Yacht, bitch. So if anybody wants to buy me a yacht so that I can like name it that, just let me know. I'm totally down. I will set up a PayPal and a PO box that you can send checks to me and donate so that I can buy a boat and name it Emma's Pimpin' Yacht because honestly, that's just everything. Have you ever considered trying a different kind of coffee? I have not considered trying another coffee. That's just not, why would I ever do that? There's just no reason for me to ever want to do that. Like, I don't want to switch it up. That just would be wrong. So, no, I would say I have never considered getting another coffee drink. By the way, if, if you guys are new here and you don't know what my coffee order is, I get an iced almond milk latte from everywhere that I go. And you might ask, well, what do you do if the place doesn't have almond milk? I leave. I will only drink a latte if it's made with almond milk. I will not do soy milk. I will not do rice milk. I will not do oat milk. I will not do cashew milk. I will not do regular dairy milk I will only do almond milk so that's that on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do you miss vine this question is upsetting to me because I literally 
lived for Vine. Vine was my absolute favorite form of social media when I was younger. I absolutely lived, breathed for Vine. I didn't even make Vines. Like, I think I made, like, weird vines that were like not even funny and like they got like one like and no one ever revined them like they were really bad but I loved watching vines like literally my entire humor is vine I love vine so on a scale of 1 to 10 I would have to say 21 what is your favorite form of potatoes honestly I like every single form of potatoes because they're just delicious but either breakfast potatoes hash browns french fries or curly fries all of the above are really good potatoes I don't discriminate if you're a potato you best believe I'm gonna eat your ass Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, so that was all the questions I have for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video, this Q&A. I love Q&As. I hope you love them too. And if you do, and you love this one, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below anything you want. I love you all so much. Appreciate every single last one of you. And especially if you're a new subscriber, what is up? Thank you for joining the club. I hope you're enjoying your time here. If you're not, Anyway, that's all. Peace.